Sorry for that. Yo, what's up, my guys? It's your boy Connor Valone here, and ah, oh, shit, you guys already know the topic of the, you know, just by looking at it. Now, keynote. This is a current, the January fourth, two thousand twenty-one video. I make in current. This is one being made currently, as all previous and all previous videos in the past. I'm recording right now. I'm uploading now. Are all from twenty twenty that I was recording in Blitz. Let's, so, yeah, congratulations, for, since you have your first, technically, actual 2021 video, video out, although I think I have other videos that were recorded later, but they're not really a current one, but anyway, uh, so, Cyberpunk 2021, no, 2077, damn, that was a trash fire, like, I wish I could joke and say, oh, I think people are taking this too seriously, but, no, nope. I I honestly do agree that people or people are have a right to be mad about it. About it, and I actually want to look at the time of this development and nine fucking years. Like, here's the thing: if you want to ask me personally, this game should not have come out in 2020. This game should have had at least, at best, three years more development. Three years. If you're asking about the CV, three more years. Three years. Years. And if you want to ask about the CV even further, this should not have come out for the Xbox One or PS4 consoles. I know, I know, know for your, for my Xbox and my PS4 boys, boys, you're gonna be pissed at Papa CV. Like Connor, what the fuck, man? Why are you, why are you trying to diss us? Well, I can't know. I got an Xbox One S. So Frank, technically, I'd be out of the picture too. But frankly. It's clear that they could not make clear from the Xbox One S content that I seen the unpatched version from Rerez. Holy shit, that's bad. And Kano, you know, I've been still seeing bugs in the PS5 and Xbox Series X version. I watched Beat'em Up's video on it on Cyberpunk 2077, and wow. Okay, let me be honest. I want to say this. I don't know how much people are going to take this seriously. But it, seriously, Sword and Shield looks like an A rank game compared to Cyberpunk because of the bugs and glitches. Glitches. Keynote, Sword and Shield's Shield, in my personal opinion, is a C game, but Cyberpunk really makes it look like an A game at that point. Wait, point. Because of how many bugs and glitches there are in that game. You know, along with the numerous amount of lies, problems, and. Albums. Again, watch Beat 'em Up's video on that one. I will most likely put in, put in the description. He's a big YouTuber. You guys should know, know about him anyway. But holy shit! And then we look at the team number, which is over 500 people who worked on it. You know, I've actually been trying to actually pay attention because, frankly, the amount of people who work on a game, work on a game, work on a game, a game is important. But along with the time that they are given, I feel like the like the number of people working on it, the quantity. The end of the amount of time and it's giving could make a good product. Product. That's what I. That's what I've been trying to figure out. Figure out more and more as I think about it because I'm not. I'm not someone who's in game design. I don't know how. Know how difficult it is. Actually, although I did take one video game course. Course and it wasn't like a full blooded school course. It was more of a. Oh hey, you can do this fun thing after school. Fun thing during during the summer break. Break course. It was like a fun thing I could do. You do on the off days. Days, days, and I actually took it when I was still in high school. School, high school. Why do I stay in some lane? That just got a lot of shit from him. Anyway, yeah, I only know like the outer scalar molecular structure of the short game design. Trust me, if I even tried to make a 3D game, it would be most likely the shittiest game ever made. For made. Made. It would make every single bad game look like a magnum opus, 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 opus. <laughs> magnum opus in comparison. But seriously, when I looked, I, I feel like I, I feel like there has to be like bugs. It was like bugs, bugs, images of bugs. I'm gonna look this up because. No, I don't want the fucking news. Oh, oh, 
yeah. This is a big one from the Xbox One. This one, one system, which, yeesh. Ooh. It, oh. Keep note, this is for Xbox Series X and PS5, people. You know, you know, let me just call it by different names. I'm not going to call it Xbox Series X, I'm just going to call it Big Black Brick. And for PS5, I'm just going to call it Seto Kaiba. We all know why. I don't even need to explain. Yeah, this is for Big Black Brick and Big and Seto Kaiba, people. High quality. Oh my god. It's clear. I actually don't get it. How the fuck did they fuck this up? Like, I'm honestly asking. How? They had a big team number. They had a nine years development, and it's clear that they most likely didn't clear that they were only. And funny enough, I actually heard I actually got this info off of another YouTuber, so I don't know. So I don't know if it's 100%, but yeah, what well, kind of makes sense from big company Kick Tech is respected because I'm really thinking that this can't be the devs' own fault. Well, right, really, they were trying to get this out for both console generations, and I feel like. They should have stick to one and just go with that comp go with that tech group. Like, oh, we should make it for for Xbox One and PS4. Okay, let's put let's try to push that console to its breaking point. And maybe they realize, oh shit. Or either that or just trying to make it just for next gen. I know it's gonna piss people off, but this clearly if you wanted to push themselves to the max, they should have and they had nine years. They shouldn't focus on making it solely for next gen consoles. Consoles. But here's the thing. From what I heard, the people who were supposed to give reviews on this game say this game was this game was good. Good were actually only told to show and show footage show footage of what what CD Project Red themselves wanted people to see. Which Wow. That's really fucking scummy. Really fucking scummy. Now I bet some people are gonna be like, well, Connor, of course they're gonna. There's there's a chance that they always do that because they don't want people spoiling everything. Thing, thing. Yeah, yeah. But just to show the footage that they want them to show, nothing new. Not talking about the game in depth. Just saying, giving a fluff piece. I mean, I get average game journalists are going to do that because they're game journalists. They say have no integrity integrity whatsoever i very much doubt they even know what the word integrity means means since none of them are actually competent with their fucking jobs well but come on this is just disgusting man and, and the funniest thing is you know i actually want to do something here i'm going to show you guys Fallout new vegas's development time this game had a development time of 18 months. Now, you're most likely thinking, wow, that is short. That game must be a failure. If you're not someone who knows the Fallout franchise. franchise and to which, I would then slap you upside the head. And because you are so wrong, it is hilarious. Seriously. you, Seriously, someone was get, just given a shitty hand. But guess what? They played the whole fucking house. 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 As this game was loved, loved by the fans. I'm not gonna. Fans and critics alike. Seriously, this game was praised, praised very highly. Heck, if you want me to say my own personal opinion, I was playing Fall recently during the winter break and fucking loved it. I was, I love playing that fucking game, fucking game. <laughs> I know, frankly, we had, frankly, there's like one mission where you had to go into the basement to deal with the Nikens. And keep note, when I was first playing through it, I was like, oh, oh, I can find these and see these enemies. I didn't see any. They said they were on my pip board, but... And then they were just jumping in and out, and I was just being fucking squealing like a little girl. Because, frankly, I don't like being jump-scared. Repeatedly. Oddly enough, I actually am starting to get more interested in actually figuring out, figuring out the numbers. Of... Damn. Please.
employees who worked on it? Yeah. Because arguably, the fact that this was made in 18 months and was so, oh, was praised hey, so much is quite impressive. But then when I look at Cyberpunk, because Kate, no, game develop, game journal, journalists, I call them that for some, I call them that in a bunch of other mean words, I'll just call them game journalists. This, at this current generation era, you know, I'm doing it for PS4, but, they normally like to praise the games that the fans don't like. By that, they're not really honest and they're paid. Now, to most of you, you're going to be like, oh, Shock! Really? To which I will be, Don't, don't, don't do this to me, man. Come on. Come on, come on. We all know this. This is a fact. Of life. And I can even you can go further. Yeesh! Ooh! Uh, no, I don't want critical review scores, although, shockingly. <laughs> although, PC is the one that people have saying has worked the most. Most. But, you know, I bet there's still gonna be some fluff pieces saying that this game is good. Or, unless these game journals. Oh! Oh! Paid. Now, keep note, there's always a chance that people who are so pissed because they overhyped the fuck out of this game are most likely mass spamming review bombing it, bombing it, since that's kind of been a thing, rather than actually give the game actual criticism, and Metacritic is just erasing all the bad reviews and leaving all the, all totally real good ones, like, great game, amazing, loved it, 10 out of 10. Yeah. And oddly enough, there's always some Spanish versions, versions of these, and I'm just like, why are they? I don't, I mean, no hate to anyone who speaks, who can only speak Spanish, but, ah, see? Keep note, I don't, and people, and f funny enough, from what I've heard, I think Seed Project Red might be getting sued. Shit! But the thing is, I find it, oddly enough, I find this really interesting, because, keep note, no, no, this doesn't show the, show the full product, and this was, show, or not that it doesn't show the full product, but it shows a product that truly wasn't ready. Now, keep note, C Project Red has been constantly delaying this game, playing this game, which has kind of gone, you know what the most interesting part is, is that when a game is delayed, Fans can't really control themselves and be patient. You know how the demand keeps on increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing? Increasing, and that those who are demanding it are going to get more ravenous, more uncontrolled, and are going to expect even higher expectations? You guys are like, yeah, don't know, of course. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Now, keep note, the state, state Cyberpunk 2077 it is, I wouldn't even buy it if it wasn't even five bucks. Jesus Christ, you're telling, telling me to buy that? Hell no, Nick. I ain't, I ain't retarded. I ain't buying that mess. Fuck no. Seriously, no. I have something called fucking dignity. I'm not wasting wasting fucking 60 bucks on this game. Hell no. Hell no. No way. No how, Jose. I ain't stupid. 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 I got something called a brain. Brain, it works. Works, And it works fucking perfectly fine. I, I am not gonna buy that trash heap of a game. You know, a game game because with the amount of bugs the amount of glitches and the fact that these people had nine years to work on it and it actually shows that they were dicking around or or they were any this game clearly was never should have should have and never should have been released he's for the for p for ps4 for seto kaiba and big black box brick fuck Because, you know, I seen it for the, I want to actually see the Metacritic review scores of the other consoles in these other series. Okay, we got 86 over here, over here, PS5, and PS5 over here. I want to just check these because I really want to see what the hell is going on. Okay, we got 7 for the average, 
72 for the average, and 85 for the 35. You know, I don't trust, and we have nothing for PS5. What, what the fuck? I, you, you, you think it'd be there? Wait, this is just PC. What the fuck? I, but seriously, I really want to think that maybe it was a higher up. Higher ups that demand that this game come out now, rather than waiting for the game to actually be polished, because it ha has happened before to some video game come, to some video games like Sonic 06, 06. Yeah, yeah, I know, but seriously, watch a what happened video on that, you on that, because ironically enough, you actually know what the bullshit the developers had to go through, through you kind of start to start feeling pity for them because it's clear that what they wanted to do was clearly bastardized and murder, murdered by the higher ups wanting to get a Came out for their anniversary special, rather than make waiting for the game to actually be, to be you know, polish, polish to the best of its ability. It's not a level of incompetence, but rather bullshit that developers have to deal with, because the higher ups won't really get them what, get them the time that they want, because they either want a game out now, want money, or they're stupid. It's always there's always a chance that it's someone from higher up, and if it's not. It's always going to be the head developer that's going to be screwing. It's going to be an asshole to everybody. I mean. Hold on. You know what? Let's look at Duke Nukem Forever's development time. And you're most likely like, Connor, what's the point of looking at that? 15 years. You, you're, you're fucking with us. There's no way this, this game took 15 fucking years. Oh, there's a what happened video if you want to know about that one. But 15 years, and guess what happened? The game was shit. From what I've heard, it wasn't good. Good. So shit. It's honestly quite interesting when I look and read about these games and developments. It's either because of shit developers, developers, shithead developers. I don't mean, I don't mean that, like, the word shit had to combine I me mean, separately, like shit, space, head, developers, there's, there's the high, the high, the higher ups just wanting the game out now, now rather than waiting for it to be polished, just, or generally because they were out of the, because the game was way too big for the, big for the team to handle, and they didn't know if they could, know if they could make a good product, causing it to get cancelled. There's a lot of factors when it comes to a bad game being created. Hey, rather than it's just game development company bad. They did not make product of my quality. They automatically evil demons. Because clearly, the development team had a plan, but they couldn't achieve said plan. And it's clear that in order to work around the limits that they work around what they wanted to do, they decided and he decided, you know what? Fuck it. We're just we're just gonna cheat. We're just gonna activate some cheat codes. What do we mean cheat codes? They were just gonna work around some of the work around what they had and just pretend that they completed it. Again, watch beat em up videos on that. To which you could just say that they kind of lied to the view lied to the player, which is kinda of cruel. But yeah, keep note that I don't know what the development what the development of this game was like, but it's clear here from what I from what I saw of the first trailer trailer that they got an I they had an idea they had something that they wanted to do, but they clearly couldn't achieve it. Achieve it not on this nine nine year development cycle. This game clearly needed a lot more time, but then again, people are getting more and more restless towards about the game. The game. They were clearly getting more and more angry and demanding for this game to be released. Please. It's ironic because oh my god. Oh my god, this is when I can perfectly use the No Man's Sky example well, that I saw in the Internet Historians video. You know, I always reference that video video because I want you guys to fucking watch it. It's like how No Man's Sky was constantly being hyped up, hyped up, hyped up, hyped up when developers at the time could not really reach the levels of the hype. A hype to which then fans who bought the game saw game saw got it 
and it wasn't to the expectations that they were perceiving. It's like how the people were hype overhyping the fact of a mainline console game for console game for this mainline Pokemon console game for the Switch. It just reached points to where it clearly could never actually be met. Not in not in the timeline that the developers were even given. 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 Keep note. No. But then again, if you know what you're doing, you can make doing as I showed with Fallout New Vegas having 18 months, which is roughly like a year and a year of six months? Yeah, a year and six months. Once it shows that, oh hey, you actually can make a good game. Wait, then why is it called eighteen months? Shouldn't it be like a year and six six months then? I don't know. No. But it shows that hey, you can make a good game. Good game. It's just that you need to know how to manage your group and your team team properly to make this game work. Which in of itself is a good idea. Good concept, smart, strategic. But that's if you're lucky, because that because keep note, you have to find a way to out bluff everybody at the table in order to make in order to win the whole house, whole house. Obsidian was able to figure it out. They have a much difficult time trying to actually play their cards. Why am I making fucking gambling poker references? I don't even know how to fucking play poker. I mean, I had Texas Hold'em for the Game Boy Advance, but I never knew how to play that game. Game, I was just cold of raise and just tried to win like that. Yeah, so if you guys ever want to see me play poker, just tell me down in the comments. You'll see a horrible, an idiot just trying to figure out. Because almost like I could just say, say something stupid, but... <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, does that it? Yeah, that's all. No, that's all I wanted to say. Say so. Ultimately, it's due to the, it's mostly due to the overhype hype that it made it harder and harder and harder to actually reach the extended desire and outcome. So, now, ultimately, does that mean that I sh we should get CD Projekt Project Red a pass on the product that they made? No, no. A game that has that many has so many bugs and glitches should not be given a pass because it's clear that this game should not not have been released at its time. And this is clearly an event of the higher ups demanding that this game comes out now rather than giving the developers more time. But then again, most likely the developers themselves already yes, way too much too much too much for too many deadlines lines to be extended extended it which caused uh, so many of the in the higher higher ups to just get slowly slowly angrier, angrier and then to which they all just slammed their fucking hand on the table the voters asked for one more deadline and said the game comes out now 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 or your ass is on the chopping block you'd be surprised that is what happens to happens to most developers seriously the, the higher ups will fucking demand for this game to be released, at least despite how much you fucking plead and beg for your life, beg for this game to come out, which is quite sad. But anyway, is that what I've I found in hearing that little bit of news? I mean, if you want to ask Papa Seavey's personal opinion, well, I already told you it, but if you want more of it, hit that subscribe button, be sure to like, share it out. You know, those shibbly bell woody boody babbly booty boody poop. But yeah. Ultimately this game should not have been released. Not in the state it was in. This clearly is a game that needed more time in the oven and needed more time to actually heat up and bake up. As it should be clear as day. But hey, that's just me just stating my own opinion. And I don't wanna say developers are clearly malicious assholes, so who clearly we didn't care and want to make money and to take our money and you know money growing dickheads or incompetent morons. These are people who clearly really just couldn't really want to make a good game, but ultimately were just way ultimately the game they wanted to make, the game they envisioned, was just too big of a task. And the timeline time that they were given, even though it was nine years, was clearly not enough. Ugh. 
and what they had for ideas just didn't work. But anyway, that's all, folks. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, share to see your friends, or just have a five. If you're in trouble, it's not for you to do this kind of alone. Signing off. Ciao.